Hello guys, do you hear this noise? It's amazing. This is the noise of a sea. And now we're going to crack one more country for fishing Cyprus. Sea fishing and bass fishing. And we'll start right now here on this amazing white rocks on the south coast of uh, Cyprus. So let's get it. Before fishing itself, I'm going to investigate this area, whole area, because I have seen some cars, some vehicles driving right, right along the bank. I think with fishermen. However, I see oh, no one now is fishing. I'm wondering why. I came here uh, today at 2 a.m. in the morning, night airplane, so it's a bit sleepy. And at night it was uh, approximately 5 degrees Celsius only. Very cold, very chilly. Now it's, uh, it's better, maybe 10 degrees, and uh, at noon should be even 20 degrees. So you see some water here. It's not because of uh, giant waves, but uh, because of some rains which took place a few days ago. And still we're in the middle of the winter. So let's investigate a local area and then catch some fish. So here is a local fishing store, very nice guys working here. I asked him about uh, the best spot for fishing for sea bass and we'll try my luck. You can find completely everything here. It's uh, the suburbs of uh, Limassol. Some lures, some rods, even for hunting, some stuff. Good shop. Easy to find. And, you know, if you need a good advice, I recommend you to visit the local fishing store for sure. So guys, everything as well. I rented the car uh, at the airport uh, to enjoy the, this beautiful country. Uh, however, you know, driving on the left side, the side is a little bit uncomfortable for me because I got used to drive on the right, you know, for the last 20 years. <laughs> However, look at that, it's so beautiful. I decided to make a stop in this cozy village. Look at that. That's a mandarin on the tree. And cactus. <laughs> this beautiful spot. The village is uh, called Asgata. It's uh, not far from my target lake, target water reservoir. Oh, look at that. Do you know what is that? Looks like a wine vault. But I'm not sure about it. Wow. And this is. Uh, Playground for kids. Well made. I love that. Oh, and the church, of course, there's a local church here. This is the beautiful, this beautiful local village. Look, look at that. Okay. I will stay here for a while because I have plenty of time and then continue to the lake finally. So guys, I finally lost my way. I don't know where to get. <laughs> this is like, because you see, you can see the dam over there, but uh, the, my GPS, my waist doesn't show the way correctly. So probably I don't know where to go. So I will 
make a few attempts but uh, the first attempt wasn't successful because I found a military base. A soldier sent me away. <laughs> Looks like this guy over here play a lot with water level. Look at that. You can go up even 15 meters more. Yeah. So the lake could be very, very deep, uh, at least in the middle. Don't get me wrong, guys, but I really don't know what to use first. So this is my travel set recently. It's an amazing reel, good for coastal fishing also I will use it for sea bass and this rod my travel rod which I've been using for 20 years as a lure because I have I see many snacks here many hidden trees I will use this jackal nice I forgot the name guys I forgot the name there are so many names spinner bait yes yeah, spinner bait all right looks amazing and it's should work just in places like that. Look at this beautiful lake. It's just gorgeous. I see so many bass, bass spots over there. Oh, trees in the water. Wow, I can't wait to cast my lures. Ooh. So this artificial lake, this dam was created in the year 1985 with the support of the uh, government of, this, of Cyprus. Uh, it's not only the source of fresh water, but it's also really beautiful. And there are some fish even here, including bass, carp, and uh, some smaller fish. Uh, however, there is uh, the military base on the opposite side of the lake, so sometimes you can hear some shooting. <laughs> so I didn't have any bite during one hour fishing, so I moved a little bit was really shallow water, however, weather is 50-50. This and this. So I don't know what to expect if I should stay close to the car and stay hidden from the rain or hope the sunlight will come again. Ah. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So guys, weather finally became a real disaster, so I decided to quit my fishing and move to another destination, continue on the seaside. Uh, I had just two bites, one landed, one picked, on this Jekyll re-range with very slow twitching so fish isn't active at all and you know because of weather I think it's not raining I go to the car
There's a fish. There's a fish. Wow. I didn't expect it here. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Oh. Beautiful. What a beautiful fish. Sea bass. Sea bass. Phew. Sea bass. Oh. Man, look at that. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Got you. Wow. What a catch. What a catch, guys. What a beautiful fish! Oh. Barracuda! Wow! <laughs> Look at this! Wow. I decided to try my luck in this small village called Ziggy. You see, very cozy fishing harbor, harbor for fishing boats. Almost no people here because we are still in the middle of February. However, weather is very nice. We warm over 20 degrees Celsius. So I just enjoy this day. Smallest fish of the trip. So finally it's a beautiful day now. But well, this is the main issue because sea bass and barracuda doesn't like weather like this. Calm seaside and you uh, know and uh, direct strong sunlight. So I quit my fishing and go back to the bass lake. Regarding the fishing license, you can get it quite easy online. I will uh, leave some links in the description. However, you don't need a license for coastal fishing on the Mediterranean Sea, uh, but only on some internal waters like uh, dams. So, but it, but it costs just a few coins. Uh, the license for one this water reservoir costed me 17 euros for one year yeah but if you'd like to have a license for all the water dams it will cost 35 euros as i said you can get it online oh no problem with that so guys finally i decided to visit instead of continuing bass fishing the shopping center local shopping center by the way this is alpha omega uh, food store you can buy anything if you want to have some chocolate or something like that this is metropolis shopping center and the three reasons why i uh, switched to shopping instead of fishing first because i will turn back when the best fishing season will be better and the second because i don't want to miss my flight and third because i have girls you know daughters three daughters and i want to just buy something for them and of course for my wife so stay tuned tight lines and be blessed 